What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an oil change on the FJ. You are gonna know it's time for an oil change when you see the maintenance required light come on. When you see that light come on, that usually indicates uh, an oil change. That's what they say on the forums. So don't worry, it's nothing major. It's usually just an oil change. Now they say an oil change, you're supposed to do it about every 5,000 to 7,000 miles. I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need for this oil change. It shouldn't take you any more than 30 minutes. It's pretty easy, it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's hop over to it. All right guys, for this job, you will need five and a half quarts of 5W30. You'll also need your oil filter. This is an oil filter wrench. You will need to pull off the old one. We do have an oil catch can right here and you will need a 14 mil socket. Also just added measure, you can have some pig mats, basically just to help with oil clean out. All right guys, so we're gonna take our 14 mil socket and our wrench and remove the oil drain plug. Now obviously you wanna make sure the car has been cooled off for quite a while before you do this because the oil will be very hot. Now what I recommend you doing is picking up an O-ring seal to fit over your oil drain plug. Just a brand new one, just in case, because they wear out pretty easily. Pick this one up from AutoZone along with my oil kit. So, you're just gonna go ahead and put, plug it back up. And Toyota calls for 30 foot pounds of torque on this oil drain plug. All right guys, so now we are top side again. What we are going to do is be removing our oil filter now. Now a little pro tip, you wanna just put like a little red cup or a little used oil can or something. Some, something to catch the oil. You take a little nipple right here that you put and oil's gonna drip down. That way you don't have it dripping all over your engine bay. So now we're gonna remove our old oil filter. that drain a little bit now you can use one of the pig blankets just to kind of clear out some of that old oil that's left in here now we're going to take our new oil filter take just a little dab of the new oil and just spread it on the seal nice and good and then we're going to screw it on there. Be sure to take your time. Be sure not to cross thread. And there we go. Because we don't want this to be cross threaded. There we go. And Toyota says this is good enough just to hand tighten. That's good. Alright, now that's good. We're going to add the oil. And there you have it guys. Your oil change is now complete. Now you can go ahead and turn it on, let it run for just a little bit and let it idle just to get acclimated with the oil and stuff like that. That is your oil change complete. All right guys, real quick before we go, I'm gonna show you guys how to reset the maintenance light. What you're gonna wanna do is hold this little, this little map button right here. And then you're gonna turn the car to the on position. And then you're gonna get a series of these little bars. You can see that? What it's doing is resetting the computer. So now, as you see, the maintenance light is gone. And just to further prove it, we're gonna go ahead and turn the car all the way on. The beginning of the video, you saw the maintenance light on. Now it's being reset. Now also, one thing I would also recommend while you're here is change out your air filter. Now I have a K&N intake, so this is a million mile, they say million mile million mile air filter so all i have to do is pull it off wash it off scrub it off and then re-oil it and put it back on but for you guys if you don't have this just take out your paper air filter put a new one in you're good to go so with that said i'm gonna sign off and we'll see you guys in the next video peace